Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to today's episode, part of the Neo Fours series. Today I will be delving into realms of item creations and a basic introduction to data generation. What data generation is, is a way for you for you to write code in Java and then you're using some Minecraft uh, classes and it'll generate the JSON files required such as like language files which name the item or the blocks etc. And then and it's easier for you rather than you having to create those f files in your resource folder yourself. And it also means that if there's any new updates and there's any changes it'll do for you rather than you having to update it manually yourself. So first of all, you want to head over to the to the full package we created last episode. If you haven't seen that one, please go back and see it and and go over to your main package, create uh, a package called core and inside your package, you want to create another package called init. What in it is that it's gonna basically any core classes like blocking or item in it and we're gonna instantiate them. And then you wanna create a class called oh what's it called item in it. And in item in it we want to have a deferred registry. What deferred registry is that it basically contains any uh, like items or blocks which you use to register your item. So you wanna start over saying public public static static final deferred one second, uh, deferred registries dot items this is this this is a change different to forge in forge you'd have to you have to have it in uh, as a generic in items but now they've changed a bit you can still do generic for other things but for items and blocks it made up quite easier items equals deferred registry and then you try to do is create and in here you want to have not create you want to have create item and then you just have your mod id which you can just get from our, our main class dot mod id all right now so now we can create our items so we're just going to call our item uh an example item we do public static uh final deferred item uh, that's how we're going to register it using generic item i'm going to call it example underscore item equals items dot register this is how we register our item so we just do a register now we'll add an example underscore item and in here we're going to use a supplier once it just for can spell I'm going to supplier and do new item uh in here new item and you can have a new items Dot property and there you have it you've created your item and then once you've done that you want to head over to your tutorial mod main class and in here you want to instantiate this so basically register the uh, items uh, bus this basically allows you that was minecraft to recognize these uh, these uh, items and register it so once you've done that and you load your game if you head over to uh, just run client you'll be able to see that the item will be there but uh, but not, you won't have a creative menu because you haven't added that yet or but if you do slash get or slash give you'll be able to see that example item does exist as an item but was no was not the correct format of name currently so i'll i'll join you back once the game loads all right that now that your game's loaded and you've created a new world you're gonna head over and just do slash give and then just uh, at self and in here you want to do your mod id so our mod id is uh, tutorial mod and you see that example items that exist currently no text or anything because we haven't added that to the game yet but let's go over and add that right now and as also add a name so it just doesn't sound weird so head over close your game head over to your coding environment you can now close item in it you can now close that now you want to create a a package called data and in this package we're going to have our data generation our and everything associated with that so you want to create a, a the package data and in here you want to create your java class called a data generator data generator gen data generator class in here you're going to have a void method public void and you're just going to call it gather data you're going to have the parameter of uh, um, gather data event event this will have this will basically be called once the gather data event is triggered just fix this gather gather data 
All right, we can leave this blank for the meantime while we create our lang file. Basically, um, lang class. Basically, what the lang will do is just generate the names of the classes, I mean, of the name of the objects like the items or the blocks. So you're gonna call this mod uh, English lang provider, and this will extend extends uh, uh, extends set extend language language provider. And it will tell you to create a construct, implement the method, do that, and it also tell you to create a constructor. So you can just get rid of the mod ID and the local, not too bit. And in here, you're going to have your tutorial mod, the mod ID, and then you can have English.USA. That's how, if you go into Minecraft language settings, you'd see English United States. So that's the one you want to generate, and it also applies to other Englishes. So you want to just do add translation. All right, so before we do that, actually no just do add item in here you want to get your item so you're going to do uh one second item in it dot uh no so uh oops example item dot get uh let's say no we don't need that and in here you call it example item so that's what we're going to call it example item so and then you want to go then instantiate this in the new guy uh in the gather data so we're just sort of Surrounded by catch him just in case anything goes wrong, and then you do here. One second, just do this output. Uh, one second, uh, here pack up packet output equals event dot get output get uh, get generator get output here. Then you do output. No, just don't need this. And then one second. Uh, so, the spell mark, one time exception, and then you want to do then catch man up catch, and then you want to do uh and then you want to do tutorial mod under if we added a yeah we added a logger and in here you just want to catch any errors, fail to generate data. All right now you in order to register this uh, we are gonna go through our tutorial mod. I won't be using any event subscribers in this mod. Just don't like to use them, listeners. And then here we're gonna do uh, I want to say bus dot add listeners. Got that. It has to be static in it. Yeah, that should work now. Yep, it has to be static. Just fix the listing mistakes. Register just to make everything neat, and now once we run our data, you'll see as generated. So, I'll in order to run the data generation, you want to head over to your run, and you hit run data. And uh, once everything runs, uh, uh, I'll be back and I'll show you what is generated. All right, so uh, when I was running the data generation, I was facing an issue. So, one of the issues is that when you go to your packed up MC meta, it'll have like uh, this, but for the version. Get rid of that and change that to uh, version 18. Uh, later on, I will teach you how to generate this file using data generation, but not for today's uh, episode. And additionally, I forgot to add the generator add provider for the mod ing lang provider. And so you're gonna just do add provider true, so it runs and just instantiate the mod English language provider. And once that all works, it should solve any uh, issues that appear. So uh, once it's generated, you want to head over to your generated file folder and you want to hit get over to your ing.us JSON file. You can see that it added our example item as the name of the item. Additionally, uh, any, one of the issues I used to face back when I was doing uh, modding is that you, it, it failed to uh, load or generate anything because you might missing this. Uh, this in your build or gradle so make sure it is in your build or gradle or it will just not generate the json files so once you've done that your item should uh, have a name and now i will show you how to add the texture to your item so you want to head, head over and to the same folder and go to data and you want to create a folder here called um uh, i'm i'm just call it texture and in the texture folder you want to have a class called mod item state provider so just go via mod item mod item state 
provider and in here you want to extend uh, 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 item model provider and you just want to also implement the method it tells you like the same for the data generator and in here we want to create a, we can just get rid of this one and in here we're going to do a tutorial mod dot get mod id so that's our mod id and in here we'll register our model so like any textures you have so let's do item uh, we're actually going to need to create that function so you're going to go over here and do uh, private no i'll just do private because you're not going to get access for anyone else private void register let's just do item just easy item and in here you want to do item one second what's going on man item and in here you want to do item uh item and just item and you open the brackets and then you just import that one and in here you want to do get the name of the item so you do string name equals item dot get so in order to get the name you want to just do item dot uh uh just get to uh, just two string that should give you the name of the item if i'm correct uh yes that gives you the name of the item and in here you just want to do get builder this is the builder uh, of the mod of item model provider and in here you should do the name the name and you want to add the parent no just do parent as the item dot handheld i mean item generated excuse me item generated and the texture will just be layer zero and in here you want to do uh, item and slash the name of the item and then once you've done that uh, you know just do that and head over and add the name of your item so we can do toy mod dot i mean mod item in it item in it dot example item dot get get and once you've done that just make sure that's all correct yes so now you just want to head over to data generator and similarly to what you did for your monk mod english language provider you want to just instantiate that or add provider true and in here we're going to do new mod item to provider output and just uh, one second so existing just makes it easy when referring to this dot just keep existing file helper uh, existing file helper equals event dot get existing file helper and in here just want to do that and that and now you probably get an error when you run because the texture doesn't exist so you want to head over here and you just want to create an asset folder in your resources folder so just call this asset assets so you have to make sure this, yes you spelled it correctly assets and in your assets folder you want to have your mod id so i'm just going to copy so i'm making these stupid mistakes so in here i'm going to have directory tutorials mod and in here this is where you can have your texture so we'll have a folder called texture and in texture you want to have you're gonna have you know more than one folder i mean but for now we're just gonna have the item folder this is where our item texture is gonna be uh one second just create that item text and then in here you will have the texture of your item so give me a second while i get mine now it's called an example item i'll go from one of my past tutorials but i just identified another uh, bug which i made in my code i apologize for that but uh, when getting the name of an item it usually results in something like this so uh, we just need to fix that so let's just create a, a folder in data actually just create a folder in your code it's called utils uh, one second oops folder package just get rid of this and it's called util and in here we're going to uh, yeah we're just going to call it here we're just going to call it uh name utilities name utility and here we're going to do public static uh, string get item name and in here we're also going to have the item that we want to get the name from and just uh, close that and in here we want to do return uh, uh, built in oops one second built in uh, build in registries dot items uh, item dot get key this is getting an item item 
then we're going to do to string and dot replace minecraft i mean our mod id so just get total mod dot mod id uh uh dot mod id plus that with just uh empty quotations this means it won't get this error and then you should do get item name uh, just fix this naming here so you want to go here and you want to go to your mod item street provider and you just do get name you want to do uh name utility dot get item name item name and if we now run data generation with our item make sure that it's spelled correctly in accordance to what you call the in your item in it when you registered it registered it here and uh just uh, it should be really quick uh uh, example item does not exist. Have I spelled example item wrong? Example uh, assets dot tutorial. I probably spelled something wrong in there. So asset a s s e t s dot our mod id that should be right dot t texture dot oh yeah, it's an s non uh it's a one second uh refactor uh one sec uh I'll just do this instead there and then just get rid of the old one and now it should work just make sure you it's it's pretty much like it has to be on dot with the spelling so if you let the game load i mean the run down generation you can see now it's loaded so if you go to a assets dot toy mod models the item you can see now we've got our item so if you run the game once again by using one client uh you'll get to see that the item no longer has a texture and that the name is according to what we named it so i will be back with you once my game has loaded and i've got i've joined the world now that we've joined the game we can see our item is called example item and it has a texture we provided it so that's been it for this tutorial uh, so in today's tutorial we've learned how to create an item basic data generation and how to register and add a listener for data generator in the next episode hopefully we'll sh i'll show you how to create the block uh, blocks and then and then after that creative uh, creative menu and then so on so on hope you've had a great time see you next time peace out wa alaikum salam